Let's take a look at manipulating color. So whether it's the font color, and I want to do something like this, or whether it's the interior color, and I want to do something like this. I can manipulate both of those within VBA. And to do so, I'll get inside of my module. And here I'm going to change the font color of a range. So uh, I'm selecting the range of ranges that I want to change color for. I'm specifying the font property and the color property of the font property. And I'm setting it to VB blue. So we have these uh, three, six, seven, eight basic colors here that we can use uh, inside of VB. And we can specify them by just their name, prefaced by VB. So this will turn it just a standard kind of a blue color. Um, I can also do VB black, cyan, green, magenta, red, white, and yellow. So let's look how this would work. So again, I'm specifying the ranges that I want to manipulate, and I'm just turning them blue. And for this, I'm going to just make a simple uh, sub to reset everything back to black. And I'm just setting it back to VB black. So really, really easy to work with those, uh, just those basic built-in colors. But if I want to do something a little fancier, um, I can use the RGB values. And if I'm going to specify the RGB values, I can, again, choose the range of ranges that I want to manipulate the font property, the color property of the font property, RGB, and then I just simply enter the value separated with a comma. So how can I get these RGB values? Well, there's a couple of ways. If you like these colors, if you select one, and then go to more colors, the color you selected is here, and you can see the RGB value. It will change those colors. If I wanted a different color, I can select it. And then if I go to more colors, I can see the RGB value. So for these really common colors that we use, um, that's an easy way to see the RGB values. From in here, um, I can pick, you know, I like this shade of blue, here's the RGB value. I like this shade of whatever, purple, pink, here's the RGB value. So it's a way to get the values. Another way is to use um, Adobe Color. And if I visit color.adobe.com, um, I can come in here and I can use those color rules that we learned about uh, in elementary, middle, and high school to uh, create a pleasing uh, scheme for my site. So if I want a monochromatic, here's different colors of reds. I can drag this around until I've got something I like. I'm a big fan of green. Then if I scroll down, I can see the RGB values associated with that color, 57, 127, 45. I can change to different rules, the triad, and again, just by dragging these around, I can get all different colors until I find a scheme that I like. And when I find that scheme, here are the associated RGB values. So pretty easy way uh, to uh, get a color grouping that you like if you don't like the standard um, Excel colors that you get. And I'm going to pick a color, a couple of these. I'm going to pick this uh, purple color and this green color. And I jotted down the RGB values. And now I can use those. Okay, turns them kind of that green color. The other thing I can manipulate is the interior color. 
and it would be like using one of these fill colors. And again, I can pick the fill color. I can go to more colors. The color that I just picked, I'll see the RGB value for. So first let's look at just using the basic uh, VB colors, black, blue, cyan, green, magenta, white, red, yellow. And to modify that cell color or the interior color or the fill, um, I'm going to again select a range of ranges. It's the dot interior property. It's the dot colors property of the dot interior property. And I can set it like so. If I want to reset this color and remove the interior color, it's the range of ranges dot interior dot color XL none. And the color goes away. And again, I can use the RGB properties. 207, 115, 255. This is from that color dot Adobe. And if I want to clear them, Excel none, and I can reset the font properties back to black. We'll frequently use a light gray color. 217, 217, 217 is just kind of a nice light gray color. Uh, 247 you can also use. Uh, it's just a little bit lighter. So 247 is really light, 217 is a little bit darker. Those are both very common if you're trying to highlight summaries or something like that. And here I put them together. Uh, I'm going to set the font color to the VB blue and I'm going to set the interior of the cell to that really light gray. Looks like that. So this is a basic look at modifying the font color and also the interior color here, the fill color.